Hey guys, again, what I want to talk with you about is another product, again, that I think is affordable uh, for us common working people and hunters, but also, too, is an extremely good product. I am uh, very excited to talk with you about the Preview 4 by Muddy Outdoors. I originally purchased a Preview 2, and I've used it now for a few years, and then this past year I ended up buying, I think, maybe four or five, maybe five, of the Muddy Preview 4s and I used them here in this past turkey season and I love them. Um, if you haven't seen it, I think I show a video of where I give some reviews on the Muddy Preview 2 and then I do some setup takedowns of the comparison between the Preview 2 and the Preview 4. But what I'm going to do here is go over just a quick setup with the Preview 4. Again, just a general review of this uh, product and uh, see what you guys think. I'll let you guys go from there. Um, we'll talk about the pros and we'll talk about cons. So first off, we'll just go here. This is, you know, a general bag that the Preview 4 comes in with the dual backpack strap, which is nice. The bag is pretty quiet. It is not a loud, noisy bag. It's got a cinch strap here up on top. It also comes with stakes uh, for being able to tent stake it down in. There's the tent stakes now. So these come in a, a little bundle. And again, like I said, I've been using this, so I just use a little rubber band to keep them. I think there's a, a bag for them maybe that's in here. But we'll move these out of the way. So again, what I do is just drop it down. And then um, what I have found, instead of going to just like the top immediately and setting it up or opening it up here to pop it, what I found that works best is to go to a side and I'll pop it up. And then what I'll do is go ahead and stand it up and try to do another, uh, either another side or at that point I'll spin it around here and do the top. So here's the top, pop it up, do the opposing side, and then I can just pop out the other two sides. And there we go. So let me scoot this back so you can see it a little bit better. There we go. So what you'll see is, is that you do have, that comes with the system originally, um, rope here with a slider to where what you can do is, is stake it in the ground and then you can run that slider up to tighten it down and draw it out. You have one for each side you have a corner uh, position for a stake in each corner as well to cinch this down. And then what you have with the Preview 2 and the Preview 4 is the see-through uh, mesh that's on two of the sides with um, full-size panoramic, as I call it, windows. And then on the one side, you still have the panoramic slide down window, but it's a solid fabric with an interior blackout. And then on the other wall, you have the interior blackout as well. It has the triangular window, and then it also has a very large door access. But what I'll do is, is um, show you that when you get inside this, you can't see through it, but you can see out. And it's just, it's really cool. It made it really awesome for me hunting in the spring with my boy. You know, we were able to take uh, some birds from him as well as myself um, this spring out of these blinds and it worked great. Um, before I go in and show you that, what I'll show you also is it does have built-in brush hoops along the top and it has built-in brush hoops here along midways and that's on, I think, all the sides. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, all the sides except for the back. The back doesn't have the middle because of the door but you have the brush hoops as well. And then the thing that's nice too with this blind is one, during uh, turkey seasons especially, you know, it has the breathability on it to where you don't get that all trapped and greenhouse kind of effect to where you get really hot. Now, my belief is, is here in the winter time though, with that openness, it could also be cooler as well on the inverse and not as well staying warm as you might have on a, a blind that's more sealed or solid fabric or solid mesh. Um, but what I have found though is, is that the, the mesh still does a pretty good job here in the spring even of blocking the wind. Um, it also does well of shielding the water. 
What you might find is it kind of reminds you of a, a screen panel or a screen door to where if the water does accumulate and you feel like that it's kind of blinding off a little bit if you're trying to see through some areas, you can just pop it like you would a screen door to get it to go ahead and free up and shake loose. But what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and slip inside. I'll be behind this window just to show um, whether you're able to see me or not. And then what I'll do is slide it down just so that you get a feel for it, okay? All right, so I'm in here now. Not sure how well you can see me, but uh, what I'll do is I'll just start sliding it down here. And you can kind of see what it looks like back in here again. I've got this side that's the open mesh, and over here on this side is the open mesh as well. But uh, I think you'll see that, you know, through here you can see really well, but when you get behind the mesh, you almost can't hardly see in at all. Again, if I throw on camo or if I have my blackout clothing on against this background, I all but pretty much disappear. So what I'll do is I'll bring you inside now and let you see what it looks like from in here. All right, so this is what it looks like from inside the blind. And what you can see is, is here's the mesh that you're able to see through. And I'll spin it and let you look here real quick. So you can see, you can see right through it real easy. And then here is where I have the window drop down. One of the things that's real nice about this system here is the sliding windows. So it's got two different sliders. Um, one for the bottom set of window and one for the top. And what you're able to do is just move it up and down to sit here and get whatever adjustment you want, whether you want to bring it up, go ahead and bring it down and the same way at the bottom. But the thing is, as you look, there's this much adjustability in this window. So if I have this blind on a hillside and I need to adjust to be able to shoot up, I can leave this one up all the way and move this one up to where I'm looking up the hill. And the same way on the inverse, I can go ahead and bring this down and lower this one down if I'm shooting down. And so that's really nice. And then one of the things just here I'll note, one of the things I like to do is I like to take either camo tape or electrical tape and wrap this fabric tight to just maximize my viewing window uh, out this and also minimize the amount of impact it might have on my, my video and that I'm doing for the hunt. But that's really nice. The other thing in here is I can stand up completely in this blind. Let me raise this up. So I can stand up completely in this blind. My head probably has four to six inches of gap up here. And so with it, one of the things I really like compared to the Preview 2 is obviously it has a larger footprint. I can much easier, uh, or I can much easier fit two, maybe three people in here. And of course that's including all my camera filming stuff. But with it, what I'm really looking forward to with deer season is I'm gonna be putting these blinds up on an elevated platform. And again, that adjustability on the windows, I'm gonna be able to adjust my bottom window down and I'll be able to draw my bow in here and shoot standing without having to worry about hitting this roof. And I can't do that in a preview two, and that's fine. It's just, that's the thing you gotta realize when you're buying a preview two versus the preview four is that it has a lot more headroom and it has a larger footprint. So it gives you more flexibility for a number of people and also to maneuverability of being able to shoot with the bow in the standing position or still in the seated uh, shooting through as well. And then what I'll do is I'll step the camera back and show you um, what the door looks like. Uh, it's a very large door. And then I might show you too from the outside looking in or what the interior blackout on the two sides look like as well. So stick with me. All right, guys. So this is the, this is the door access for the Preview 4. Again, you can see it's rather large. You know, I can get in and out easily with like my backpack and step in and out or a chair. Uh, it's got two zippers to where it just comes through all the way down, or I could have done it with the bottom zipper. Uh, the other thing I was going to mention too with this Preview 4 is in my opinion compared to the Preview 2, the fabric material here, it talks about here the Terra uh, camo pattern, but the, the fabric is, um, I think it's a little more robust. It's a heavier duty fabric, and so I think it's less likely or less prone to uh, be punctured, rip, tear. Uh, and, and survive more in the elements than the Preview 2. Again, nothing wrong with the Preview 2. It's just a comparison that this one, uh, I think, has a little bit heavier duty fabric. 
So what I'll do is I'll bring you around and I'll show you what it looks like inside on the two blackout panels. All right guys, so here's inside the blind. And what you can see on this side is a blackout panoramic window as well. Again, it slides up and completely covers and blocks. On this back window, there's like a triangular window here that's got these little straps that drop down that you can go ahead and look through the window and get out of your way a little bit. Again, just a little bungee system here to put it back up. And then one of the things I wanted to mention too of just the general design of the Muddies, it was the same with the two as it is the four. I love that they think forward and that with their window system, it overlaps so that it sheds the rain. So for instance, this lower window, it's inside of the upper window and the upper window actually overlaps. So if the water is running down, it runs down over onto the lower window and on off the blind versus being staggered to where it could run down, go inside that one, and now it's inside the blind. Same way with this window back here, it sticks up above the blind. So when the water comes down, it hits it, and then it's stitching goes to the outside of the blind as well. So then again, it flows down on the back side of this and then on out on the back side of that, helping to keep the rain or the water from coming inside the blind. So again, I think this is just a, a really cool setup of the way this is and the amount of room that this preview 4 has. I love the ability, especially me from a filming standpoint or for my kids, of being able to see through all this. So just like this past spring, I had a turkey with my boy that he was outside of our actual um, open window that we had. But having the other window that was see-through mesh as well, I could still film and see that turkey over here where they were versus having to open up and maybe expose and move with the blackout to where the bird might have noticed something. To me, that's the same way with the deer is I'll be able to see it. My kid can be able to see it and be ready for when it does step out into our opening to be able to take the shot for a deer or turkey. All right, guys, one of the things I'm going to do is just do a, a breakdown or a teardown of the blind real quick. A little trick that I've learned with the Muddy Preview 2 and the Preview 4 that some people have had issues with. This is the way it's worked easiest for me. Um, kind of the same way with the setup. You know, the setup I found to do a side first, not the top, and then do the top and another side, or do a side and then the top, but not the top first. So what I'll do on this one here is what I found is, is do the sides, do the top, and then just a little pop down on the top and the thing will collapse right up. And then we'll do a closing. So let's check it out. So it'll spin a little bit, pop down the top. Now what you'll see here is it's kind of set up and, and not collapsed fully. What I found is, is if I come through and give it a little bend up on the corner, it's still flexing right where it's supposed to at the joint, and then I pop it down just like that. Just a little bit of pressure and it just folds right up. And then at this point I can roll it up and it's ready to go right back in the bag. So, guys, again, what I found is I love the Muddy Preview 2. I think I love the Preview 4 even better. Again, bigger size, um, standing room for me, a lot of flexibility for both deer and turkey hunting. I think also to a lot of flexibility of being able to use it on the ground or an elevated platform with how large of opening you can adjust those windows to whether you do the one side, the other side, or both together, huge flexibility with it. And for me, from a filming standpoint, being able to see through the mesh, um, just even a preparation standpoint, you know, whether you're deer or turkey hunting, being able to possibly see the animal coming through that mesh, they can't see in and see you, maybe being able to get in position with your bow or with your gun to where when they truly clear and are in the opening, you're already ready. They don't have a chance to look in and spot you and boom, you're able to make the shot. So again, another thing like this, kind of the same way as I mentioned with muddy tree stands, they're affordable. You know, for me, that's one of the things I love. They were running a special to where it was like buy two for uh, the half price or buy two and you get the second one free, something like that kind of special. And I jumped all over it and um, I ended up getting, I think, four and then I split a fifth one uh, where he got one and I got one uh, as well because again I just like them so much so check them out muddy preview 2 and the muddy preview 4 what we just went through here is the muddy preview 4 if you haven't checked out the muddy preview 2 
go check out my other video where I go through and do a review on it. Otherwise, guys, I hope that you found this useful. If you did, like the video. Also, to leave a comment if you want, or if you have any questions, feel free to ask, and I'll try to reach back to you and get those answered. And then if you haven't subscribed to the channel, it helps me out a bunch. And then ring that bell to make sure you're alerted to any new comment. I'm always trying to put out new comment for you. And I appreciate you guys watching and supporting the channel as always, and we'll see you on the next video.